guilty on all counts. That's the verdict from jurors this afternoon in the trial of Reynaldo Ortiz. The Dallas doctor was convicted of tampering with IV bags at a North Dallas surgery center back in August of 2022. Let's get out live now to Andrea Lucia. She is standing by for us outside of the federal courthouse in Dallas with uh, today's uh, turnout of events. Andrea. Yeah, Ken, I've now spoken to three of the jurors in the case. They told me they spent the last couple of days in deliberations just going back over all of the evidence in this case. And they say that just helped make it clear to them that Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz is guilty. Rewatched the videos. Yeah, we yeah. rewatched the videos, read our notes. Like, we, we did a thorough job. That's why it took us so long. Yes, yes. We didn't want to just be like, yeah, we all agree, but we're done. Exactly. You know, no, it's not fair to him. And we wanted to make sure justice was served. Ortiz himself had no visible reaction when the verdict was read. He was wearing a mask, as he has during most of the trial. In the gallery, though, people were hugging, some were crying. Someone even broke out clapping as Ortiz was let out. Prosecutors with the Department of Justice say Dr. Ortiz injected IV bags with nerve-blocking agents and other drugs, then left them in a communal storage warmer like ticking time bombs. They went off, prosecutors say, in 11 patients getting what should have been routine surgeries at Baylor Scott & White Surgicare in North Dallas. Dr. Ortiz was tried on charges related to just four patients, though, men and women ranging in age from 18 to 78. It was in their cases that Dr. Ortiz was caught on camera. All four victims testified in trial about the lasting impact this has had on them. Jurors also heard from the husband of Dr. Melanie Kaspar. Dr. Kaspar died after self-administering an IV bag she brought home from work. She was not among the cases Ortiz was tried for, but John Kaspar says it doesn't matter what Ortiz was convicted on as long as he's behind bars for life. There's no closure. Uh, you know, my, my best friend is, is gone and, um, you know, you, if, if you're lucky and you have a good set of friends, you can move on. Like after a year and a half, I can I can see a light. The strongest evidence one juror told me was this video right here. This is Dr. Ortiz filling syringes with multiple drugs. Those drugs are what he is accused of injecting into IV bags. A fellow anesthesiologist testified there is no reasonable explanation for what you are seeing here. Now, this morning, the jury did ask to be able to handle some of the evidence. And one of the jurors I spoke to said uh, being able to see the puncture wound in an IV bag, being able to feel it, there was really no doubt to them uh, as to what exactly happened. Now, uh, as for sentencing, that has yet to happen. It'll happen at a later date. It'll be handled by the judge. We know that Ortiz uh, faces up to 20 years for almost all of the counts he was convicted on, so the chances are high he will spend the rest of his life behind bars.